I'd just like to say how honored we are to be here today. This is a, a prestigious organization, and uh, we're very much supportive of these kinds of organizations because I think, uh, I believe, like Carnegie, that you know we get the money in order to give it away. So um, I just take the words of my friend Yoda, who said, <laughs> "You." Uh, Everyone has the force in them, everyone. And there's two sides of the force. The dark side, which is selfishness, and the light side, which is compassion. So we all struggle to keep these two things in balance, and hopefully we're able to move it a little bit more toward the bright side. Um, I grew up with three sisters. I grew up with three kids, three girls. And I've learned that uh, you always let the smartest one give the speech. So I'm turning it over to my wife. <laughs> I have to say, you did pretty good. That's a lot more words than normal. We are certainly honored to receive this award. It's, it's just, it's hard to describe um, how it feels uh, to stand here knowing where we both come from and the opportunities that we've had. But the fact that uh, Andrew Carnegie himself created a foundation dedicated to the advancement of teaching and that we're being recognized for our work in education is certainly something that means a lot to us and brought us here. As many people know, I grew up the youngest of six kids in Chicago. My mom was a single mom. I uh, went to school on the East Coast. I was very fortunate to go to a great school and great schools. And then I've spent my entire year career in the world of finance. And George grew up in Modesto, California. He went to school on the West Coast. And he made some movies some of you may have heard of. And one of the things that we always think about, how did these two people come together? And in fact, when we got married, Bill Moyers, who is here, he started our wedding with that exact comment, how did these two people come together? And so I'm going to tell you a secret. Our first date was in Chicago. We were at RL Restaurant. He wouldn't talk. <laughs> it was horrible. I told someone, get me out of here. Just call and say it's an emergency. I was done, and I can talk to pretty much anyone. But there was a breakthrough. I brought up education and everything changed. And we bonded over our strong conviction and belief that everyone de deserved a great education. And after that, it was over. We had our separate passions. I was passionate about after school matters. George, of course, had started the George Lucas Education Foundation with one of the signature parts of that organization is also Edutopia that is well known to so many. We had these individual interests. And then over the years, we've come together on joint interests, soon to be established Lucas Museum of Narrative Art in Los Angeles, which I call a school for schools. We hope it will become a great art museum, but I think of it as a really expensive community center where everyone belongs. And when George and I think about this opportunity that we have, we always say at the end of the day, we are just paying back society for the debt that we owe it. We literally pinch ourselves with gratitude, first for the good fortune in meeting each other, and then for the good fortune of the resources that we have where we can have a great life for ourselves and our family. But make no mistake about it, we view ourselves as stewards of society's money. We're just holding this money for a little bit before we pass it on and give it back. Because to us, this is the debt that we owe. And so it's great to be recognized in this way, but we're just paying a debt and a debt that we are happy to pay, and hope, hopefully one that will lead others to pay as well. And so we are truly honored with this opportunity, especially, as I said, if you're a black kid from the inner city in Chicago, this is beyond any expectation you ever have of yourself. But we are very, very honored with this opportunity, and we're also so honored to stand alongside honorees that are just, who have inspired us and taught us so much about giving. So thank you so much for this. We appreciate it.